Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at all you need to know about your car throttle body. Think of your throttle body as an engine's air gatekeeper. It's a valve usually housed between the air filter and the intake manifold that controls the amount of air flowing into your engine. So when you look at the basic principle, when you press the accelerator pedal, you are not directly adding fuel you are primarily commanding the throttle body to open. The more you press the gas pedal, the wider the throttle plate opens. This allows more air to enter into the engine. Now, the engine control unit sees this rush of air via sensors and injects the precise amount of fuel to create a combustible air fuel mixture. More air means it requires more fuel, which will give you more power. In short, your foot controls the air, the computer controls the fuel, and the throttle body is the crucial link between the two. When you look at the anatomy of the throttle body, there are key parts of a throttle body. A typical throttle body consists of the throttle plate or a butterfly. This is a butterfly valve, the flat circular disc that operate on a shaft to open and close the airway. And we have the throttle body housing. This is the main body, usually made of aluminum, that forms the passage of the air. And we have the throttle position sensor, TPS. This will tell the ECU the exact angle of throttle plate, how far the throttle plate has been opened. And on some throttle bodies, we have the actuator or motor. In modern drive-by-wire system, this electrical motor opens and closes the plate based on the electronic signal generated by the throttle pedal and we have also an idle air control valve which bypass circuits that allows a small amount of air to pass around the closed throttle plate to maintain engine idle speed when your foot is off the pedal now there are two main types of throttle body currently in use there is a cable type and there is a drive-by-wire type this is the most important distinction in those throttle body designs. For example, the mechanical cable-driven throttle body has a physical cable that runs from the accelerator pedal directly to the throttle body. Pushing the pedal pulls the cable, which physically opens the throttle plate. Now, this is simple in construction, and it is direct mechanical feel is there. The limitation is that it is... It has limited functionality for modern features like traction and stability control. It requires separate idle air control valve for idle control. It's usually used on older vehicles. Now, the latest development is where we have the electronic or drive-by-wire type throttle body. In this type of configuration, there is no physical cable. The accelerator pedal is a sensor. When you press it, it sends an electronic signal to the engine control unit and then the ECU then command a small electric motor on the throttle body to open the plate. This allows for advanced features like cruise control, traction control, stability control and better fuel economy as the ECU can override driver input for safety and efficiency. Now, the Negative thing about this configuration is it is more complex. It can introduce a slight lag or no linear feel is there. Virtually all modern vehicles are using this type of design. Now, what are some of the common symptoms exhibited when your throttle body gets dirty or when it is failing? A faulty throttle body causes issues related to air management. For example, you might experience rough or unstable idle. The most classic symptom is where you have rough idle. The car may feel like it is sh shaking or stumbling at a stoplight and the RPM may surge up and down. This happens because the ECU struggles to manage the idle airflow through a dirty or sticky throttle valve. And you might also experience poor acceleration or stumbling. When you press the gas pedal, the throttle plate doesn't open smoothly, causing jerky or hesitant feeling as the engine stumbles from lack of consistent air. You might also experience higher or 
lower idle speed. So idle speed may be consistently too high, racing the engine, or it might be too low, almost stalling. This could be caused by dirty throttle body. And the other symptom is where you have a, a check engine light illuminated on your dashboard. This is almost always guaranteed. There are common trouble codes like P0121, which is a total position sensor circuit rate performance problem. P2116, total actuator control system, forced limit power. And P2135, total pedal position sensor switch voltage correlation. And you might also experience engine stalling. The engine may stall when coming to a stop as the throttle body fails to allow enough air to maintain idle. And you might also experience poor fuel economy. Incorrect air flow leads to incorrect air fuel mixture, reducing efficiency. So what can you do in order to correct this problem? Clean. Clean the throttle body. This is one of the most common and effective maintenance items you can perform. Over time, oil vapor from the positive crankcase ventilation system and airborne debris create a black gunk-like carbon buildup on the total plate and inside the housing. This will restrict airflow and can cause the plate to stick. So, you can clean it typically every 30,000 to 60,000 miles or as soon as you notice any of the symptoms mentioned above. Now, the process is very simple. Disconnect the battery, especially if you are performing that cleaning on a drive-by-wire system. This will help to prevent ECU errors. And then locate and remove the intake duct to access the throttle plate. Then spray and clean. Use a throttle body cleaner, not a carburetor cleaner, which can be very harsh. And uh, you can also use a soft cloth or brush. Scrub the plate, the wall, the housing until they are spotless. Then once this is done, you can reassemble it. If you are having a drive-by-wire type, if you want to open the plate so that you can reach the backside, you can turn the ignition key on and have someone press the plate pedal so that it will open for you. For drive-by-wire type, after cleaning, the ECU may need to relearn throttle's home position. This often involves a simple ignition on and off procedure without starting the engine, followed by short drive. You can also consult service manual for your specific vehicle how to makes the ECU relearn the new throttle position if it is somehow tampered. And there are people who decide on upgrading throttle body. Can it be upgraded? Yes. In the performance world, a large throttle body is common upgrade. A larger diameter allows more air to enter the engine, which can improve horsepower and throttle response, especially when combined with other intake and exhaust modifications. However, on a stock engine, a larger throttle body often provides minimal gain. So the bottom line is, the throttle body is a gateway for engine air controlled directly by your gas pedal, and it has shifted from simple cable operated to sophisticated computer controlled drive-by-wire systems now. If you have a problematic throttle body, you might experience rough idle, engine stalling, hesitation, or check engine light. These are the biggest clues indicating a problem with the throttle body. And maintenance is very simple. Cleaning. Cleaning is very crucial. It's a relatively easy do-it-by-yourself project that can resolve a wide range of drivability issues and is a core part of uh, preventive maintenance associated with the throttle body. The throttle body is a simple yet very vital component. Keep it clean. That is one of the easiest way to ensure your engine runs smoothly and efficiently. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding some of the things that you need to know about the throttle body. If you find this video helpful and if you like what has been presented, please do smash the like button. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with automotive related videos of this kind. Until then, stay safe.